What's up everyone, this is Squigs and welcome back to another episode of 53 Days of Action 52. We are on day 6 here with the game Silver Sword. So, as soon as this little purple fucking cheetah band is done greeting us, we will jump into the game. Yep, Silver Sword number 6. Ooh, we got another 2 player game, hopefully it can be played 1 player, it looks like it can. Um, we can throw Silver Swords! And there's a rock. It looks a lot like the dragon game we played in day one. Oh, we can scroll the screen, though. Oh, God. Another unique track, though. Gotta give that to him. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a fucking giant centipede thing. Was not expecting that. Enemy choice a bit weird. Not sure what that even is supposed to be. But gameplay-wise... Eh, it's, I mean, it's not great so far, but it's not bad. It's something a little different. It's a tricky 2D space shooter made to look like you're walking on the ground to make it into a different style of game. <laughs> but, um, it's pretty much just a 2D scrolling shooter game. Okay. I don't like this guy over there, but he will do what he will do. It's really hard to hit things. I'm gonna say that, because you can only have one sword on the screen at a time. Yeah. Kinda killing me with the one sword on the screen at a time. You have to be very purposeful when you shoot this thing. Oh, or you can just take a header into the tank. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of this just scrolling gibberish levels that don't really matter over a few fucking different types of enemies. It's probably gonna be the experience here. It's weird that you can't do anything diagonally. Like, you have to move along the axis, you have to point along the axis. It, I know that it's not that strange, but, um... In this game, it feels like you should not have to do that. Like, you should be able to move diagonally, at least. Maybe only shoot in the four directions, but be able to diagonally move. It's really hurting the experience for me. Oh, God. You have to be, like, way up in the screen in order to scroll it forward. So when you scroll it forward, like, they're just right there in your face. Oh, and game over. Well, let's give that one another go. I have a feeling we can beat the first level, at least. Come on. What if I stay all the way to the right here? And just fire swords in front of me. And just walk. It seems like a good plan. Oh, God, no. Ah, nope, nope, nope. Fire and walk, fire and walk. Yep, fire and walk. It's working. Oh, that didn't hit him. Unfortunate. <laughs> Best strat I've had so far, at least. <laughs> I can't keep taking hits like that. Ah, oh, you can only take three hits, it looks like, and you're done. So maybe a little more nuance than never stopping walking forward. A little more left and right here. Oh, I thought I would have got him. Oh, God. <laughs> what is that little eyeball thing on the string? Well, he looks like a fantasy character, at least. All right, that guy looks like a dwarf, and that other guy looks like the centipede from Centipede but pink. Um, and then you have tanks, is what I think of these guys, so I don't really... Those don't fit in. I guess they're not really tanks, but they look like them. That looks like an old man, like the Zelda guy that gives you the sword. It's got his, like, face. Alright. <laughs> sword versus tank. Who would win? Fucking sword. <laughs> That's a really awesome sword or a really poorly built tank. I'm not sure which one. All right. Come on, buddy. See, like, you're so close to the top here. It's rough. It should scroll up when you're down, like, here. So you have some time to react. I would like that. But this is probably not even playtested, if it's anything like the other games on this fucking <laughs> cartridge. So, I mean, I guess it is what it is. Ah, god damn it. I'd really like to beat level one. Like, it's frustrating not to be able to beat the first level in these things. There might not even be a level. It might just scroll. Infinite points. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. The 
enemies seem to be random. There we go. Yeah, now we're cooking. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, this is tough, folks. I'm not gonna lie. I think if I... Yep. No. I gotta take care of these things when there's tons of them on the screen, or eventually one of them's gonna come get me! It doesn't feel safe to take care of them, either. What the hell? My control just, like, gets stuck. That was weird. It just, like, wasn't taking input for a second. Ugh, that's two. Two of three. Yeah, she... Ugh, what a poorly made game. Come on, make it scroll back he right here. The screen should be pushing forward, so I have some time to do something. Ugh. They're like... The games are simple, but the choices that they made... It's not like they're missing features that makes them bad. Like, they made bad choices with the... Like, someone said the X position or the Y position in which the game should scroll. Like, that's set somewhere. It probably is a variable. Why not just move that variable down here so it's fun? Like, it's little things like that that means... It's not like you didn't program things that were good. I mean, the game itself is still simple and, like, it's, o it's okay. It's not great. Like, I would... It's something I would play in, like, an arcade machine back in 1979. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It's a little more... You know what I mean. It's a little ambitious for that, maybe. I don't even know. I don't fucking know. That's an old arcade machine, so I don't know what it was like back then. I'm, I wasn't even born in 1979, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But what I'm trying to say is... It's not just the mechanics you put in, or the mechanics that you... Didn't put in, or whatever. Like, it's the way that you chose to use them... That makes it a bad game. <laughs> Like, it could use with the added mechanic of diagonal walking. That's something the game lacks, and whatever, it doesn't have that. But the screen scrolling position is just something you could have changed easily. Like, it's in the game somewhere. Or maybe not, maybe your fucking architecture is so bad that you built these games under that you can't change something like that. It's possible. They all seem to share, like, a similar engine. Not all of them, but some of them do. Um... Like, this one reminds me a lot of the Dragon game in looks and the top-down directional walking. So maybe... Fire... Fire Breathers, I think it was called? Maybe they are the same engine. They probably are. I don't know how else you would fit so many fucking games on one cartridge. Other than having them all share similarities. Okay. Oh my god. I'm making it pretty far this time, though. Come on, can we just get to the next level, please? No! Oh! Oh my god. I think that's about, about all we should do here. I want to keep these relatively short, um, easily digestible. And, I mean, I think we got a pretty good idea of the game anyways. It doesn't look like much more is going to happen. You walk up, they spawn one of four enemies, you fucking die after you get hit by three of them because they put the screen scrolling position in a really annoying spot. That's that's all you get. That's the whole package. Anyways, I'll, I'll kick in a little music, I guess, for the outro here. But um, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Squiggy's 53 Days of Action 52. That doesn't have Squiggy's in front of it, I don't think. Maybe it does. I don't know. I can't decide on those things. But, um... Either way, I appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. We will be back soon with it. I can't do my outro. I'm all out of order today. I'm, like, fucking half asleep right now. I'm sorry, folks. Like, I got, like, very, very poor sleep last night. Like, not enough at all. And I took, like, a short nap today for, like, a half hour. And, like, you know when you take a nap and then you wake up and it's, like, the sleep is worse? Like, you got negative sleep from the nap? That's how I feel. I'm a little bit frazzled. I don't mean to come at you all frazzled, but sometimes that's just how life is. You're frazzled some days. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. <laughs> so thanks for joining me, folks. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back soon with another one. And have a wonderful afternoon.